Okay. Here we are at Array Solutions Lab, and we're going to demonstrate tuning the OM Power 2500A, which also applies to the 4000A. We're using an ICOM radio on 40 meters for this demonstration, although it works the same on all bands. And as you can see, we've established uh, communication so that the amplifier is showing the frequency of the transceiver. And to tune each segment in this band, all we need to do is press the tune button. And the amplifier now took over the radio's frequency setting and set it to 7.040 which is the center of the first segment. You see that the transceiver has also changed to 7.040. So what we do now is we tune the amplifier. And we can do that in several ways. One way is to just give it a little bit of power. And see that we in RIDI, it automatically changed it to RIDI. We can transmit, bring it up to about a thousand watts, and we're looking at this tune indicator here where we null, basically null the cursor here. We're in the tune position with the, the meter choice. Null the position there, peak the amplifier, null it again. We're drawing a little bit of grid current, which is basically zero now. Null it again, peak the amplifier, and now we're tuned. This amplifier. And all we do is hit the set button and it'll take us to the next segment center. 70, 70, 70, 70 here on the transceiver. Turn the power down, transmit, basically null the peak, bring up the power kilowatt, and all the tune position, peak, the power, and hit set. Transceiver goes to the next position, 7.100. Null, peak, all the time watching our grid current is, is very is very little grid current. Hit set. Transceiver is moved to 7130. Again we null and peak. Null peak. Grid current's very low. Set. 160. Null. Peak. Null. And peak. Power. Receiver is now moved to 190. We null. Load. Peak the tune. Null the load, peak the tune, hit set, 220, again we null and peak, null the load, peak, null the load, hit the set button, now we're at 720, again we can Five zero, and all I do is, is continue to null and peak, 
set, and we're finished. No, this is the last segment. Oh, this is the last segment. Okay. No peak. No peak. Set. And that's it. That's, and we're finally finished. There's no output. The transceiver has been turned off from the transmit position, and we've now successfully driven the amp or, uh, set the, the memory set segments of the 40 meter band. The next thing you would do is then go to the next band that you would like to, to teach the amplifier the power of the uh, settings of its tune. Now, what we can do is we can put this in CW. And let's say take it down to CW portion of the band. We're only running if I put this in standby. Auto. Yeah, I go can't auto, put here. It in auto. I got 20 watts going in. And we have 1200 watts going out. We could take that up to say 2000. Oops. 2000 watts. You see that we're in a nice tuned position here. 2,000 watts output, grid currents in the safe zone, and if I put it in operator standby, we're driving it with 29 watts. Now, band change. Okay, to change bands, we can just go to our our rig. Let's say we want to go up to 14. The amplifier is an inhibit. It doesn't. It, it wants. It wants you to give it a signal that you really want to change bands, and you're not just listening. So to change bands, you just give it a dip. It changes bands for you, and now you can now transmit. Operate. Watts with about 25 watts in. And that basically is how you Another band. Yes. change bands quickly. And if you want to actually tune this band, you can put it back into tune position. Oops, we need to take it down. We need to take the transceiver down to the beginning of the band. And we go into tune. It automatically drove the transceiver to 14010, which is the first segment of that band. Press. I turn the gain, the drive down. And we just dip the load, peak, and now we can bring up power, about a kilowatt or so, and we null the load, peak, the tune, look at the grid current, make sure it's okay, press set. And it'll take us to the next segment. Again, we null and peak, null, peak, set. And you would just con continue to do that for the rest of the, of the band. Very simple operation to teach the amplifier. Your antenna by just nulling, peaking, nulling, peaking. 
and it will move the transceiver for you automatically, no matter what your transceiver is, from Flex Radio to Elecraft, Yesu, Icom, it will automatically allow you to tune the amplifier one time, and then from that point on, the amplifier knows the settings of your antennas. Thanks for watching. 73.